Okay, so launch trajectory and countdown net, pad is clear. 10, 9, 8, Launch auto sequence seven, has started. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go for launch. Dragon, separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing lakes have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. starting to throttle down and standing by for Miko. And Miko. Stage separation confirmed. Right. So Miko, stage separation confirmed. Okay. Second stage, engine light. We're in two alpha, the second abort mode. The second stage is lit, continuing to carry the crew four astronauts onto orbit. Uh, and this is a fantastic view on the left-hand side. This is the first stage, now separated from the second stage, but it's still being illuminated by that single Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage on the right-hand side of your screen. Uh, so right now, the first stage is making its way back to Earth to attempt its fourth landing on our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas. Uh, the crew is on the opposite, opposite side of the engine that you see on the right-hand side of the screen. They are continuing with their journey to outer space. Seeing good performance on that lone Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. The crew's GLO dips right when we hit that separation event, and it's gonna continue to build up now. Just heard acquisition of signal Bermuda, that means we're Dragon, now- Dragon, SpaceX, nominal trajectory. Freedom copies, nominal trajectory. No 
That was our guidance, navigation, and control officer. Nominal trajectory, Dragon's pointed in the right direction, continuing its flight to orbit. We heard Bermuda called out. That's one of the ground stations now receiving telemetry from the Dragon as it continues its path uphill. So we'll, be, we'll have the dueling boxes here for a while as the first stage makes its way down. That second stage gonna continue firing until about uh, a little over eight minutes into the flight. Doing the heavy lifting now. The first stage has um, a couple of events itself in order to, to land on a drone ship. So uh, at T plus seven minutes and 25 seconds, it's going to start its entry burn. It's gonna be one of two burns. Uh, this is where three of the nine Merlin Dragon engines SpaceX, nominal trajectory. on the first stage will relight uh, and burn for about 30 seconds in order to slow the vehicle down before hitting the denser parts of the Earth's atmosphere. Acquisition of signal, New Hampshire. All right, now on the New Hampshire ground station, another call out there from our guidance, navigation, and control officer, nominal trajectory. Second stage, stage continues to power. Nominal. Call out just then, propulsion is nominal, the engine performing as expected. Crew pulling a little more than one and a quarter Gs right now. Again, that's gonna continue to ramp up, peaking just before we get to that second stage cutoff. Yep, this, this, this single engine here, Dan, can produce over 220,000 pounds of thrust in the vacuum of space, so um, they are definitely feeling it. And we're already about 200 kilometers in altitude. Dragon, SpaceX, nominal trajectory. Three of copies, nominal trajectory. Great call out that. Uh, we are headed in the direction that we need to, and we, we just heard from Shell, the commander. Stage two, flight termination system. So for those just joining us, we are burn startup. just under eight minutes into flight. We have four astronauts as part of the crew for operational mission. You can see on the left-hand side, this is our first stage with three of nine Merlin engines reignited and slowing down the first stage before we hit the denser parts of the Earth's atmosphere. So this first stage has stage one more one burn left. Burn shut down. That's gonna happen just before the T plus nine minute mark and then we'll attempt a landing for the fourth time on a drone ship that's currently parked in the Atlantic Ocean. And so is that entry burn completes. Terminal guidance. We're in the final stages of the second stage's flight into orbit. We're about to pass through several of the different abort phases, which essentially correspond to areas along the very northeastern seaboard of the U.S. and then across the Atlantic and off the coast of Scotland. But continuing to get call-outs that stage two propulsion is nominal. Copy, Shannon. And the call-out of Shannon, Ireland, that's- Stage uh, one transonic. Indicative of our final abort zone. And after this uh, second stage engine shuts off its engine, we are gonna be listening for the confirmation of a good orbit, which tells us that the Infra crew and Dragon are where they need to be in stage orbit. Landing bird. Dragon, SpaceX, nominal orbit insertion. And that was the call that we wanted on the second stage. Here's a fantastic a view. Copy. We're glad to be in orbit. Of the Dragon, first stage. SpaceX, launch escape system is disarmed. Fantastic view of the first landing stage. Legs landing legs have been deployed, returning back to Earth for a fourth time. And just like that, a fourth landing as part of the Crew 4 mission. You can hear the applause behind us. But prior to this, acquisition signal, Newfoundland. We saw the crew. We, we heard that the crew uh, has been successfully inserted into a good orbit, and this is them uh, in zero g, uh, yeah. and two of them for the first time. All right, standing by for separation.
So typically we'll get a shot from the second stage looking at the unpressurized service section of the Dragon. What a magnificent view.